Hi family, it's Christy with Designs for a Diva and in today's video, I just really wanted to check in um, and kind of chit chat with you. I know I've been missing in action. Um, so as far as actually getting on camera and talking to you. So I just wanted to um, say hello and just chit chat a little bit. But before I get into what's been going on with me, I just wanted to share how disappointed I am in the post office. Like nothing against the post office, but I just received a package from one of my wonderful YouTube sisters. Um, her name is More Girl. If you haven't watched her channel, I'll put the link to her channel in the description below. More Girl is absolutely wonderful. She, um, I first started watching her Goodwill finds because she finds a lot of great stuff at Goodwill, but she also does a lot of DIYs and she's decorating her home um, with finds from Goodwill mixed with um, more expensive items like Z Gallery. And then she shows us how to take some of those maybe Z Gallery pieces or high-end pieces and kind of like DIY and do them ourselves. And she's really good at it. So shout out to you more girl. Um, y'all go and watch her channel after you watch this video. However, she had a subscriber giveaway, right? And I won the subscriber giveaway and I got three beautiful candlesticks. But, and I want to show you like, this package was, it was well packaged. But when the, when the, Mail lady handed them to me. You hear that? I knew it was broken. Listen to that. So she first, she has new paper on the top and then each one is individually wrapped with bubble wrap and they're taped really good. But a piece of glass fell out of this end. So I wanted to unwrap it because number one, I wanna say how thankful I am. It's not more girls fault that this has happened. Um, but I'm really thankful and I hope that it was only the one because I was trying to figure out what am I going to do with three of them. So, um, I probably will have used two at a time anyway, but the point is they're mine. Okay. And I didn't want them to arrive broken. So I had scissors here because I opened the box before I turned on the camera. do with my scissors y'all anyway wrong knife I cut myself with that one I could use a smaller one I always grab the one with ridges let me stir my pot I'm making dinner for the night for y'all country folks I'm making smoked um I'm making big lima beans with smoked turkey and I'm gonna do a cornbread so anyway, that's the rest of my mail. She, you know, a lot of times they put your mail in the box and then they bring your package to the door. But she was, I guess cause she saw me watching. She honked the horn to see if we were home cause it is raining. So it was nice of her to bring everything um, to the door. But, um, so I'm, I'm, I went to the door, I'm in my nightgown because y'all know I work from home and I don't have to get dressed every day. So I go to the door and I holler, I'm in my nightgown, I can't meet you. And she, it was fine, she brought it to the door. But when she handed it to me, I heard it breaking, which, oh, these are so beautiful, y'all. Look at this. And it's ruined. It is ruined. And it, it, they probably throw these packages. I'm sure they throw them with no concern for whoever stuff it is. And a piece of glass just hit the floor. So let me get the broom. I dropped another piece of glass. Okay. I mean, they are well packaged, y'all well packaged I see the care that she put into packaging them T 
taped, it, it's taped up really well, okay? Well packaged. It looks like these two are bigger than that one. So maybe these two are the same size. You see how much I'm unwrapping here, right? Well packaged, okay? All of them. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This is the top, look at that, beautiful. So that one would have been shorter. Well packaged. I'm sad. I'm so sad. Look at this. Well packaged. Okay. Well wrapped. Well wrapped. Just that one. Just that one, y'all. Beautiful. These are beautiful. I absolutely love them. They're beautiful. I'm so sad. That one looks a little shorter, but it could have been the same size. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's the same size. It's just hard to tell because it's broken. So anyway, I'm super sad about it, but these are absolutely beautiful. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with them. I'm really a farmhouse. But anyway, they're beautiful. Y'all know I'm a farmhouse type of girl, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with these. I hate to spray paint them because they look so pretty clear, but I, I see them in metallic gold or metallic silver too. And I think I could farmhouse them up, kind of distress it a little bit, but they're super cute. And I'm so thankful more house, more girl that um you sent them to me i mean i know i won the giveaway i do giveaways myself so i know how it works you randomly pick somebody and it has to be fair and i watched the process she put them all in a bowl and grabbed a and grabbed a name and it was my name and so thank you so much i'm so thankful that i won shout out to you y'all please go subscribe to her channel and look at all her videos she's amazing and I'm so sad that the third one got broken, but these are beautiful. You can put a candlestick in them and you can put a bigger, bigger candle around on the top. So these are super pretty. Thank you so much. So I'm not going to sit here and be sad all day. But I just wanted to check in with everybody and let you guys know I'm doing okay. I know that I've been posting like some rough footage over this past week. I just really haven't been feeling my best. Not really wanted to be on camera. A little sad because I didn't get to go to Clayton Homes last weekend. It actually poured down raining all day Saturday. It started Friday night and a lot of the work that I would have done on the lot would have been outside. So it just really didn't make sense. It didn't make sense to drive for two hours to get there in the bad weather. My husband was working, my mom was not able to go. I would have been going by myself and trying to maneuver camera equipment, microphones, all kind of stuff and trying to get the best video and in the rain, no, that wouldn't work. So I decided to stay home. Um, it, it's a two part trip or it would have been a two part trip, probably still will be. It doesn't make sense to go this weekend because I have to go back next weekend. I have a surprise for you guys 
um, concerning mobile slash manufactured homes, but I can't talk about it yet. And so um, it's happening at least by the 7th. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm sad that I didn't get to go because I had some really great stuff lined up with Clayton Homes. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on with that. Um, so how you guys like the raw footage that I showed? I know I didn't do a lot of talking. I, I did put some text into the video, but I just wanted you to just physically see what we saw with the setup and everything. And I know it doesn't paint the whole picture. I feel bad that I didn't, I didn't kind of like talk you through it. But if you have any questions about it or any comments, just put them in the comment in the, just in the, just make a comment on the video. Y'all know that I respond to all my comments. Um, and, um, I'm working on good content, better content. I'm working on answering questions. I'm working on, um, just bringing this channel to the next level. And I have some like behind the scenes things that are happening, um, to bring it to the next level. I also work a full-time job and I'm a wife. Okay. So it, you know, trying to keep the content up it's a process and i'm getting in the groove learning how to organize and manage my time and so you know um i like i'm not apologizing i know i don't owe anybody an apology right like it's my channel i can do it the way that i see fit but then i do owe you guys an apology because it's a reason that you're here on this channel it's the the type of things that i brought to the table so far that have piqued your interest and made you say, okay, she's informative. She's showing us some stuff that we haven't seen in other other YouTubers. And it's really helping me on my journey. And so that's why I came to YouTube. I came to YouTube to, to share my journey and hopefully help somebody else. Because here's what I found being in here in Georgia. I'm from South Carolina and there is a mobile home neighborhood on every block, right? And they are much bigger than trailer parks. They're like real subdivisions. You have to have your house bricked in. Everybody gets the driveway and sidewalks and the same mailbox and the same light post in their yard. And the house has to be so many feet from the road. And it's all uniform. And they're real neighborhoods. And they're, and But here, it was like really hard. When my husband and I decided that we wanted our own or we wanted to explore the idea, we didn't have the funds to purchase a two or three hundred thousand dollar house. Sure, we could have gotten it, but we want we wanted something that we could keep, right? That we could afford to pay for. We wanted, we did the math, right? And what we were paying rent in Marietta, Georgia for the next 23 years versus what we're paying for the land and the home here, we were paying more in rent. So um if that was easy peasy, we wouldn't have been able to do that purchasing a home. It would have been much more, um, we could have possibly faced HOA or anything. You know what I mean? There's HOA here, but there's no fee. If you can believe that, like most places there's an HOA fee. You pay it every month. You have to go to the meetings. You have to abide by this. And here you do have to abide by some things, but there's not an HOA fee. So, um, it just made sense. We simplified our lives. What? And we're able to purchase a home in the process. So, um, so yeah, so I do owe you guys good content videos to keep coming. And I promise I'm going to get in line. I'm working hard over here, y'all, to make it happen and not get into the swing of doing the same videos over and over again. So in an effort to make sure that you got content, I sh went through some old videos and kind of put them together to help you see the process. But I'm more than happy to do another video to kind of talk you through the process. And I feel like I've done this a couple of times, right? Like um, my five things you need to know about buying a mobile home, my mobile home video part one and two, and now this raw footage kind of like brings everything that I've said together. So if you haven't um, seen any of, of those videos as I'm saying them, I posted a card, um, to the video up top. Um, so make sure you go and check those out. And then if you have any questions, feel free 
to email me them. I get emails all the time, y'all, and I have one. I love all of my subscribers, and I love everybody that has emailed me. But Stephen Henley, shout out to you, my friend. Um, he has been sending me. He is also on this mobile home buying journey, and they are ready for move in. And he has an absolutely beautiful, beautiful home, and he's been sending me pictures of the outside and the in, and I'm so jealous. His hood over his stove is to die for it's the one i wanted but we didn't upgrade the stainless steel and um we didn't upgrade to anything we bought the model we were determined to keep it simple and we bought the model so anyway shout out to you steven you you and your wife did an amazing job and i'm so 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 happy for you and i'm so glad that you have been sending your journey to me um in my email it's made a difference in my life to see that um, my dream came true and it's coming true for other people too. So I just hope that each one of you watching decides what will make you happy. And that's what you go for. Does it have to be a mobile home? Absolutely not. It can be the biggest mansion. It could be a regular three bedroom, two bath. It could be an eight bedroom, 10 bath. It could be a RV or a van. As long as you're happy. And that's why you have to know why. You have to know why you're making that purchase. And when you understand why and you believe in that why, then whatever you purchase will be the best that it can be. I understand my why. My husband understands his why. And, for, and because of that, we are happier than we've ever been in life. Um, we're very proud of ourselves. We have what we wanted. Are there some things around here that I like to change? Absolutely. If I had the money, I'd have granite countertops. I would put hard wood from one end of the house to the other. Who says I won't do that eventually? But we do that in a home, right? We buy a home. It doesn't always have everything we want. And as we can, we, um, we make upgrades. Or every 10 years or so, we make upgrades. That's what we do. And so we're going to enjoy this house until we can't enjoy it anymore. And then when I'm not happy with something, I'm going to change it. Simple as that. I'm waiting on either my washer or my dryer. Y'all probably talking about that raggedy washer and dryer I got. That old washer and dryer, but it still works. I'm waiting on one thing to break. Whether it's the washer or the dryer. And when it does, I'll have a black wash and dryer just like the rest of the house. But until then, I'm not going to spend money on something I don't need because that washer and dryer works just fine. So that's just how I am and, and where I am with it. There's, you know, if it's not broke, I'm not going to fix it unless I absolutely like in my heart want to fix it or want to change it. And yes, yeah, the reason I have a storage room because I like to change the decor and stuff all the time. But... I'm really working on knowing when it's important and when it's not. And so anyway, I'm rambling. I love you guys. I just wanted to check in and say hello. Um, this isn't like some fancy smancy video where I'm making a whole bunch of edits. I just wanted to talk to you. So I hope you enjoyed talking to me too. I think I'm going to do this more often. Um, I really like talking to you. So anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning my husband and I don't celebrate holidays, but I do want to wish each and every person the best rest of the week that you can have. I want you to be safe. I want you to enjoy your time off from work. If you're off, I'll be working. And please know that you are my family and I'm thinking about each and every one of you. So take care, you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.